What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. In this video I'm going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for some time now and that is to see if I can actually improve the thermals of the Q300L. But before I get too far into this, could you guys help me out and please hit that subscribe button? It helps out the channel a lot. Now, if you have watched or if you go back and watch my review of the Q300L, there was quite a bit that I actually liked about this case. The only real issue I had with the Q300L were the thermals. Now, my idea is, and I hope this works because I really don't actually have a backup plan, and that is to use a stepping drill bit. The idea is pretty simple and it's just to make the holes that are in the case larger. And to be perfectly honest, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have never actually done anything like this before, so this should be a learning experience for all of us. Now, I'll only consider this a success if I can properly build a system in the case after I'm done. Meaning, did I bend the chassis to the point that I can no longer fit the side panels back on properly, and that there are no sharp edges because cutting myself while building a system would really suck. Now, I do understand some grinding and sanding will be necessary, but grinding and sanding can only do so much. Okay, so I've already taped out the locations of where the fans are going to be, so I guess it's time to see if this is going to work out. Let's get to it then. Okay, so I have taped off the bit to, I believe it was 9.30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to start off with that size and then go from there. Um, might need to go to the... Uh, 5 sixteenths, but we'll see. So I'm gonna drill just a few holes and see how that goes and get back to you, I guess. Okay, that actually seemed to work far better than I was expecting it to. Not only drilled four holes, I've got more holes to drill. Okay, so as you can actually see, I have drilled all the holes for the top exhaust fan here. Uh, I did go a little deeper on some of the holes than, so this is the 5 sixteenths and then this is the uh, one step up. I can't recall what the hell it is. Um, I'm actually much preferring the 5 sixteenths size. It seems larger and there's still enough steel in between the holes to make it not fall apart. So I think I'm going to the bigger hole. That's what she said, maybe? I don't know, who has the bigger hole? Okay, it is the next day, and I did actually manage to build the case testing system in the Q300L after a whole lot of filing, sanding, and cleaning. It took a long time to get the case clean enough to where I actually felt comfortable to build a system in it. There was a whole lot of little metal shards everywhere. So by doing all of this, I did actually manage to increase the size of the holes by 60 to 70%. Now I did only drill where I was going to locate the fans, mainly to save time but it is possible to actually do a strip down the front and along the top of the case 
But if you do it that way, you just need to make sure that you leave the line of holes that are meant to fasten the fans to the case alone. Because if you don't, you won't actually be able to install the fans. I also finished all the testing. Now I did only run two sets of tests. I ran the fan normalized tests and the fan normalized test without the filters. I didn't bother retesting the stock configuration because uh, just one fan isn't really going to be doing anything. So I'm going to start off by looking at the fan normalized test without the filters. And the CPU had more than a 3 Celsius drop over the non-modified Q300L in the same test. Now with the fan normalized test with the filters on, the max CPU temperature dropped by 1.3 Celsius, which isn't much, but it is outside the margin of error. So it did actually drop. Now moving on to the GPU testing. In the fan normalized test without the filters, we see a near 3 Celsius drop on the modified Q300L over the original test. For the fan normalized test with the filters on, the max GPU temperature dropped by 1.7 Celsius, which again isn't that much, but it is an improvement. So what did we learn here? By making the holes larger, I was able to lower the system temperatures, but the magnetic dust filters were still restricting a significant amount of airflow. Now there is always the option of not using the dust filters, but in that scenario, you may actually want to spend some more time and repaint the case because having a partially bare metal case in your living room isn't really the look I'm going for. I don't know about you guys. Either way, at this point, you'd probably be better off spending more money on a better case. I'm just saying. Well, that's all I got to say for this one. So if you guys actually liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're still watching, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.